Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb Blog. I just finished watching uh, two or three things a day that kind of stirred me up and wanted me to get liberal and wanted me to get conservative and I just want to have a conservative minute. Choices have consequences, whether they're in life, business, jobs, whatever. Decisions you make have effects. You know, so many people say what you were doing five years ago leads to what's going on with you right now, which is true. So the first article I read was family homelessness is going up, but a particular family single parent mom's homelessness with kids is going up and they put a picture on the of it a woman with three kids and a baby a little baby so i was angry i was angry when i saw that <clears throat> because that's tough right we want to say no kids shouldn't be homeless single parent mom should have better right so then hillary clinton gets on tv and say no one should pay more than 10 percent of their income for child care no one in the world okay <laughs> um and you know sandberg richard sandberg whatever her name is sandberg the lean-in woman of fa on facebook ceo of facebook goes yeah she's totally right now that i've lost my husband and he died and and i can see how tough it is for single moms it is tough for single moms it's very very tough but i'm gonna be here be a little harsh and do the jeb bush 1994 uh if you're which he got slammed i mean he got slammed this time he got slammed 21 years ago he basically said listen we're gonna have welfare limits of two two years and two years you should get your life together you should go get an education at community college you should go find an alternative job you should go find get your life together get you a husband because men aren't on a dfc women are which made everybody scream. How dare him tell these women to go get a husband? Well, 70% of men 24 to 30 something, and this number of course includes divorced men and men in the middle of divorce and all this stuff, are not married. And we have 40% of children being born out of wedlock. Overall population, of course. There's some groups that have higher, Latinas, blacks, you know, you know, we already know. American Indians, very high numbers. But there is truth in it. People keep having children and you're gonna keep giving them benefits and you're gonna keep giving them housing. If you're a single mom and you have one baby out of wedlock and go, whoops, whoops, it was an accident, not the game plan. Hey, nobody has a problem with that. They go, hey, I give you grace, have a great life. Work hard, do whatever you can to take care of you and your kid. Have a great life. When you meet a woman with two and three and four kids, you're like, hey now, Either you're doing some really terrible picking or what's going on because back in the day it was your family's responsibility. No one likes saying that. It's very unpopular, but it was your family's responsibility. If your daughter got pregnant, guess what? Your family showed out. Your mother became, you know, instead of grandma became mother or, you know, your father had to take, you know, work harder to pay for now. Not just you because you probably weren't going to get married, but you also your kid. Now this is 70s, 60s. This is even that far ago, you know, 50s and 70s, you got pregnant, you got married. Or they sent you away to a school and you magically came back from school after you had your baby. Hey, my own mother got sent to one of those schools and had, then was allowed to return after she had her baby. Lucky for me, mom got married, went in the military. And it wasn't me, it was my older brother. So this is quite a many years ago. But even in that short period of 38 years ago, that's what happened. You got married you got sent away you made different choices there were consequences to getting pregnant out of marriage there was consequences to that there was poverty like like if you were that mom who didn't have a husband you were in poverty you worked really terrible jobs and it was consequences it sucked no one wanted that life but now we live in a society like well do what you want to do girl and there's no one enforcing any guys to do anything either so look do I want um, better, you know, parenting and child care opportunities? Yes, I want child care to be child care services to be affordable. But nine times out of ten, if you're a woman who's able to stay home with your kids, you do. So the people we pay to stay to take over other people's kids have to be paid. They have to be paid. They have to be compensated for the fact that you now have to go out to work to make money to pay them to watch your kid. It is what it is. So look. This video is going to be highly unpopular and I don't care and I'm going to put it out there. So look, why do you think we have such a rise of mommy entrepreneurs? Of women, you know, joining MLMs and doing sales and doing something, you know, or even after they have their kids, they leave the house, they're in their 40s, now they're really hustling because they know there's consequences to their choices. And yes, 
They want to stay home with their kids. Yes, they want to have kids, but they need money. It just is what it is. So look, unpopular, tough conversation today, but it's my one conservative point. That's where I am. I, I, there are lots of women who are like, I can do it by myself, but you weren't meant to do it by yourself. That's not how it's designed. Do you know what I'm saying? So look, as Jeb Bush says, you having financial trouble? Get your life together. Go get you some training at community college. And in two years, you should find yourself a husband. You guys, this is Erica, Classic Line Blog. Conservative point today. Have a great day.